questions uh, today i plan to do lens makers formula from chapter uh, ray optics from plus 2 cbsc physics so let's first explain the diagram uh, let me take a convex lens xy the convex lens is made up of two refracting surfaces two spherical refracting surfaces one and two let let the object point object be o it is lying on the principal axis two rays emerge at emanating from this object one ray falling normally on the lens uh, that passes through optic center uh, goes uh, undeviatedly and the another ray which falls at certain angle on the first refracting surface will form image at i1 if the second refracting surface is not there okay but because of the second refracting surface this ray is again refracted and then the final image is formed at i so my final image distance is v and this image i1 is formed due to first refracting surface is v1 this image will be formed uh, this will be a real image if the second refracting surface is not there but since there is the second refracting surface i am getting the final image here and uh, this side uh, this oc is my object distance okay so let me start writing the general formula for refraction through spherical surface so refraction through spherical surface the refraction through spherical surface we have a general equation this equation is there in my previous video you can go and search for it so this is the general equation the general equation is minus mu 1 by u plus mu 2 by v is equal to mu 2 minus mu 1 by r this r is the radius of curvature of the spherical refracting surface so let's take for uh, apply this equation for the first refracting surface for refracting surface 1 for refracting surface one so this is my first refracting surface for the first refracting surface the object is o okay and then the this is my refractive index of this medium first medium and this is the refractive index of second medium mu2 this is refractive index of r again because this is also r this is also r the refractive index is same but the refractive index of uh, glass is mu2 so in this case the ray is uh, moving from mu1 to mu2 so my second refractive index is mu2 first refractive index is mu1 according to the general formula we have to put first refractive index first so i'm just putting first refractive index minus mu1 because first refractive index is mu1 by object distance is u plus second refractive index by image distance is v1 because for the first refracting surface image will be formed at v1 so now this is mu2 minus mu1 divided by uh, radius of curvature of the first refracting surface this is equation 2 similarly for second refracting surface i'm going to apply the general formula for second uh, refracting surface Okay. See, you for the second refracting surface, uh, I told you this I one is formed by the first refracting surface. This I one is the object for the second refracting surface. This acts as a virtual object for this image for the final image. Okay. So for the second refracting surface, this I one acts as a virtual object. 
it acts as a virtual object. So now if you apply uh, this general formula for the second refracting surface, you have to put uh, the ray actually uh, for the second refracting surface is moving from mu2 to mu1. So my first refractive index is mu2 now and second refractive index is mu1. So I have to put first refractive index first. So my general equation will become so minus I have to put first refractive index divided by the object distance plus second refractive index by the image distance. Image is V, image distance is V is equal to second refractive index minus first refractive index by radius of curvature of the second surface. So this is my third equation. Correct. And we know that a convex lens is made up of two refracting surfaces. So I have two equations for the first refracting surface and the second refracting surface. Now I am going to add these two equations to get E equation for this convex lens. Okay, so I take uh, for convex lens I have to add these two equations. Okay, uh, adding these uh, equations, adding equations uh, 2 and 3. Let me add the left hand sides first minus mu1 by u plus mu2 by v1 minus mu2 by v1 plus mu1 by u is equal to adding right hand sides. I take a different color mu2 minus mu1 by r1 okay plus right hand side of this equation third equation mu1 minus mu2 divided by r2 now this and this will be cancelled and then uh, this is not u, this is v because in this equation you see this is v. Now, now you can take mu1 common out, if you take mu1 common out you will get u1 by v minus 1 by u and then on this side mu2 minus mu1 by R1 okay and I put minus here and then I rewrite this as mu2 minus mu1 by R2. So now this mu1 will be there and then this will be 1 by v minus 1 by u. Now I can take this mu2 minus mu1 common out you will get 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 ok and then Taking this mu1 on to the right hand side, you will get this side you will get only 1 by v minus 1 by u. If you take this mu1 here, you will get mu2 by mu1 minus mu1 by mu1 is 1, 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. And then uh, 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to this mu2 by mu1 can be represented as mu21 
refractor index of the second medium with respect to refractor of the first medium 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 and now if the this is a special case if the object is at infinity if the object is at infinity image will be formed at focus correct image will be at focus this you should know and the object is, a, is at infinity image will be formed only at focus correct so when the object is at infinity what is the meaning of it the object distance is infinite that is the meaning of it the image will be at focus when the object is at infinity image will be at focus which means image distance is the focal length when you apply this condition in this uh, equation in this equation uh, you will get you will get the final formula now so i take uh, this v as here yeah. so it becomes uh, 1 by f minus 1 by infinity is equal to mu to 1 minus 1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. 1 by infinity is 0, so you will get 1 by f is equal to mu to 1 minus 1. 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. This formula is called as the lens makers formula, which is used for the manufacturing of lens. So, so this is the lens makers formula. Uh, so, this is called as So you do this the derivation one more time, practice it, which is very very important for your exam board exam. Number of times they ask that they ask numericals from this uh, formula. Okay, so this is very very important. And then this one by f is actually power. So we will do it later. As far as now, this is our lens makers formula. Thank you so much for watching.